I know it's been chaotic. <laughs> I want to congratulation on your award and everything. I would love to hear what originally got you started in this foundation and what's been your experience so far. I mean, I have been a supporter of Homeboy Industries for so long, and Father Greg, I consider one of my spiritual gurus. Um, you know, he is the embodiment of God's love and what he does for people that society has turned their backs on and, and completely rejected, um, showing them unconditional love. Yeah. Uh, for people who have never experienced that or may never have experienced that, to me, it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's it's extraordinary. It's really extraordinary. There's a risk to that, too. I mean, you see uh, in the political dialogue how disparaging people are about people who may be involved in gangs. Um, but what Homeboy does and what Father Greg does is takes the time to really understand people's backgrounds and stories. And I think we all could stand to do that more in our lives. All right, there's that quote about how, like, um a flower doesn't grow in a garden if it's not being watered and having the right nutrients and everything. It's always going to will if it doesn't have the right surroundings. So I love what you said about that. That's beautiful. Um, I would love to know um, what's been a personal story that you've heard of someone that's gotten into the program and come out of it. That's like one of your favorite, I don't know, just a favorite story of yours. I mean, honestly, it, it, when I hear a lot of the homeboys and homegirls talk about that moment when they meet Father Greg for the first time, and when they also talk about the times when they've screwed up and come back and he opens them with, and he welcomes them with open arms, yeah. I can never tire of hearing that story because I think that we are so predisposed to giving up on people, especially those who may have a criminal background, yeah. but he never does. And this organization never does. I get, I get emotional just Aww. thinking about it because, you know, that is true unconditional love. 100%. It's so rare to find these days. People like to like put labels on people, and so in order to strip that down and give people see people as humans, no matter what they've been through, is like a beautiful thing. Um, I would love to know what as what does a second chance mean to you? What's like the the meaning behind that for you? For me, second chance. Uh, for me, a second chance is just having your door open for someone. No matter how many times they screw up, we're all human. We all screw up. And just because someone may have a, uh, a conviction or a felony on their background doesn't mean that they are any worse off for it. 